When will you people get it? Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team keep it clean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video before we get into this video special shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons special shout out to the newest patrons swank uh, and DeAndre I appreciate y'all uh, rocking with the channel and showing that extra support thank you for that um, now Lamar Jackson we know that this has been the summer of Lamar Jackson uh, and this has been the summer of Lamar Jackson letting people know hey I am tired of all your stuff uh, we, of course, remember the whole back and forth with Bernard Pollard. Uh, we remember when he called out Chris Sims. Uh, and we remember when he even called out these anonymous NFL defensive coordinators who continue to remain nameless. Um, and Lamar Jackson has shown, like, look, man, I, I've been nice. These, Especially these first four years have been pretty nice when it comes to calling out people. It's been a little stuff here and there. But this offseason... Lamar has been extra vocal, and I love it. I love it. Reason being because a lot of times people, they, they can take your kindness for weakness, and he is showing you like, hey, it, that's not what it is. Me being kind does not mean that I'm weak. And in this interview uh, that he did, this, this snippet that came out that he did uh, an interview with a young man from CBS Sports, uh, it, it ended up being the same thing. And I, I felt like this was a, a learning experience um, for both sides, uh, especially but for the reporter, though, because if you're going to come with an outlandish statement like that and Lamar calls you out on it, you know what? Let's just watch the clip. You're getting a little bigger, getting a little, getting yeah. a little thicker, a little muscular. Yeah. I hear that you don't like working out, though. Tell me about that. Who said that? Uh, sources. What sources? <laughs> I don't know about that. I had to do something to get this size, you know? So that clip, oof, it got so cringy at the end when he started laughing. Like, oh man, Lamar done called me out. <laughs> Let me try to laugh it off. But this laugh, it just really wasn't doing it. And it just, it made it that much more awkward. Um, but like I said, I, I do really believe that it was a learning experience for both sides. Um, now, first with Lamar, the reason I say it was a learning experience for him, and this could be something that he already knows, but it, it's another way that he can learn how to deal with media. And this is one of the biggest reasons why players, they, they, they don't like dealing with media a lot because media will say this and they will say that. And usually the players, they, they, they answer and they got to sort of go around the questions and whatnot. They got to divert sometimes. But a lot of time with media, this is a good way to spin it back on them because the media, they will say this, that and the third to you. But then if you flip it back to them. They can be flabbergasted like the, the, the young the young guy was from CBS Sports. He ain't know what to say. He ain't know what to do. And it, he tried to put Lamar on the spot. Hey, you're you're an NFL player. You're a franchise quarterback. Your team is in negotiations with you. Um, you you're getting ready to make a whole lot of money. You already scrutinized so much as is. There's so many narratives that continue to get pushed about you every single day. You're on ESPN, FS1, the NFL Network, and narratives continue to get pushed about you literally every single day. You know what? Let me add one more. Hey, I heard you don't like working out. You see what that does? So something so small, it can add to what's already been going on for the longest. I heard you don't like working out. So I, I heard something negative about you, especially with the timing of all of this, too. The timing of when, when, when this interview is happening amongst everything that's getting ready to go down and everything that already has gone down. I heard you don't like working out. You see what that does? It, it, it's just it's not a good look for him. But with Lamar uh, putting it back on him. Oh, where'd you hear that from? Who said that? Where'd that come from? It, it, it puts it back on that report and it puts that pressure on him like, oh, ooh. and you see the, the pressure. It busts his pipe. He just says, oh, sources. That's it. Sources. Put a name on it. 
Put a name on it. If, if you're going to put a question on it, put a name on it to, to back it up. But with the, with the reporter, I just hope that um, this will definitely be, a, a, again, a learning experience for him, too, um, of what not to do. And, and uh, you know, this was just um, a clip. This was just a, a portion of the interview. But in my opinion, uh, this it, it, it should never even have been part of an interview. It shouldn't even have even been part of the interview. That that question, because it just it, it, again, it's, it's such a bad look. Um, Lamar Jackson, as we know, again, we, we've been saying this for the longest. The, the, the narratives will continue to fly. They will continue to fly. They're not going anywhere. They're, they're never going to go anywhere for his entire career. He is always going to deal with negatives. And for somebody with like, Lamar Jackson, um He's probably he's going to have to do twice, even three times as much in order to be recognized with somebody else who's only doing one time as much. Because people just they they don't put him on this same pedestal as other quarterbacks. They don't uh, apply the same standards to him as they do to other quarterbacks. So this is something that unfortunately he's just going to have to deal with, for, like I said, for his whole career. He's already been dealing with it for the longest so he, him and his camp and whatnot, they, they know how to approach it. But it's still very unfortunate when, when you've done so much uh, and, and you've accomplished so much and you still have to go out there and almost prove yourself, like I said, two or three times as much as the next person. Like then, because again, think about that. Like you, you see Lamar, even if you compare him from just last year alone, obviously you compare him from his rookie season and then you look at him now. It's like he went from like this to, to like that. And it's like, whoa, hold up now. And to, to say something like that, oh, I heard you don't like to work out. Really? Come on now. Um, so anyway, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I guess this can also be like a uh, uh, some teaching tape for any young reporters or any inexperienced reporters that are, are trying to come up and, and interview players in the future. This can be a uh, a clip on what not to do and, and how not to do it. Um, and a lot of times it's, and this is just in life in general, it's not even what you say, but it's, how you say it um if he had an inkling that lamar jackson didn't like working out if, if, if he felt that or if he questioned that then he could have said something like oh um how, how, how's your workouts been going what, what have you had to do uh in order to really put on all this muscle mass and and how do you feel about what your training regimen has been could have said something like that. Then Lamar could have taken you through the process. He probably would have gave a little shout out to Spence Fit uh, and, and then walked you through what he's done to get to this level. And then you could, hey, how, how'd you like it? How you liking the results? How you feeling? How was the process? Something like that. But, hey, I, I, heard, I heard you don't like working out. It's just that wasn't good at all. But again, hopefully he learns from it. And then in his next interview with whatever player he interviews next, it, it goes a lot better. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I love y'all. I will see you later on today in questions from subscribers. And we out. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Shout out to Graven.